Dr. Pompa, I know that in your protocols and you know for neurotoxic mediated illness, environmental illness, you really stress the importance of strengthening the adrenal glands right. with your patients. Why is that? Yeah, I mean the adrenals play such an important role in uh, just playing how you adapt to stress and your daily energy function. And of course, in those patients that you mentioned, um, most people their adrenals have basically had it. <laughs> That's really what leads to some of the fatigue that they have. Right. Um, and you know, one of the biggest complaints is they don't adapt the stress well anymore. Matter of fact, that happens in people who wouldn't consider themselves toxic or neurotoxic or chronic fatigue. It happens in many people that you know you just see walking in your office every day. Um, and you know, when I treat these conditions it brings these people back right, I mean, immediately, you know, within days, you know, they feel like, wow, you know, they're on board again. They're adapting to stress better. Wow. Um, and not only that, their energy levels come up. And a lot of people don't understand this. You actually, to sleep deep and to sleep well, you actually need really strong adrenals. Ah. Um, so with stress the way it is, stress-related illnesses, uh, the adrenal glands are key. That's important. Now, Say if someone comes into your office, they don't know that they have, you know, wiped out adrenals, right. like you would say. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you test for that? How do you know besides some of their symptoms? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, one of the easiest ways is ask them. People say, uh, you know, I'm dizzy. Or, oh, wow. they, you know, when they go from a standing to a st uh, seated to a standing position, uh, they get dizzy. Or from a lying standing position. And one simple test that every practitioner can do um, without, you know, running blood tests or urine work is just do a lying blood pressure. Mm -hmm. and then take the blood pressure, look at the top number, which is called the systolic number, immediately have the patient stand up, stand up, and then you take the blood pressure again. What should happen is it should raise about 10 or 15. Mm -hmm. um, if, the, if it drops or stays the same, you have a person whose adrenals aren't functioning. And you've, you've heard me say this many times. You have to be careful um, strengthening someone's thyroid without first you know, addressing their adrenals. Uh, and you also know that I support the pituitary gland, um, the thyroid and the adrenals a lot because these this whole triad works together. Right. Um, and really, I, I think we you didn't even name some of the products. I'm sure people want to know that is Adrenal Complex uh, from Designs for Health. Uh, it actually has adrenal cortex and raw adrenal in the product, mm -hmm. which helps actually build the adrenals back up. Strengthen uh, them back you're up. Right. So if someone's really bad. I always start them on that. Uh, let's say someone's just in a you know just in an, a hypo adrenal state, not there. Maybe their number only comes up five. Uh, when they, you know, lying and standing blood pressure, which is called an orthostatic blood pressure, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'd go to, like, the Adrenatone Plus, which is another Designs for Health product. Systemic has phenomenal products for the pituitary. They're GB mm -hmm. and they're GF for the thyroid, which sometimes I match. Um, sometimes I'll even put someone on a little hormone, DHEA. Right. Uh, if their adrenals are really blown out and they're not able to make hormones. Um, and another one called Pregnenolone. Uh, but there, it's it's very basic program that can really just bring someone back to life again. That's awesome. Well, adrenal fatigue. Thanks, Dr. Pompa.